I'm Amanda and we are at Salvaterra Pottery. We got a request to show how we make our medallions for our mugs, so that's what I will be showing you today. What we need is our die for our extruder. We actually have two different extruders here. We have one for brown clay and one for white clay. And when we make medallions, we're gonna use the white clay extruder for them. Okay. Now that we have our die in the extruder, we're going to take our clay. So once the clay is extruded out of the die, it looks like this. And then we will put WD-40 on it so it doesn't stick to our mold of the medallion. <laughs> okay, we have a bottle of WD-40 and we squirt that onto one of our plates with a paintbrush. I'm gonna paint on the WD-40 so it doesn't stick. For the medallion that we're doing today, it is our Asheville Chamber of Commerce. That is their logo. It's on a piece of acrylic, I think it is. Um, but other ways that we do our medallions is that we cast them into Ceramical and it is actually the same process for both. So what I'm going to do is prime the surface with some oil. I'm going to cut the clay to about the size that we need for that medallion because they're all, you know, a little bit different in size. So we take the clay once it's cut to the right size and we put it on our mold. And then we take a bat and we'll put it on top. And it takes a couple of tries on the arbor press so we can build up a little bit of clay because that makes our medallions a little bit thicker about the thickness that we need for the mugs. And as I'm doing this, I am turning the bat and the mold at the same time. And then we take them off. And this is what they look like on the back. So some of ours have a little bit more of a cutting edge, some have less. This one is a really nice stamp that has a nice cutting edge. And then we're gonna take a cutting wire, and I don't think I can do it in the air, but I'm gonna cut off this medallion from the back. All right. And here is the medallion. So once the medallion is cut off, we have these little things, I don't think they have a real name, but we call them curves, and we place the medallion on the curves. And for this one, we can actually get three of these medallions on one curve, but a lot of them we can only get two. But they will sit on these curves and stiffen up and wait for the mugs to stiffen up to about the same stiffness, and we will eventually put these on. So here is the final result of the custom mug in Greenware. Um, this one is actually going to try on in North Carolina. They have a big equestrian center there, so there's a little horse on there. So what we do is we score both the mug and the medallion, and we use slip to attach it. Um, the more slip, the better usually, because then your medallion will fall off your mug. And then we just clean up the edges around it. Once that's all done, we attach a handle, and we put, of course, our little thumb things on. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed. So you're probably wondering how we make the die, and I thought I would show you that really, really quickly. Usually I start with a used plastic container. So what I do is I cut the bottoms out of these, if you can get them started, um, to make this hollow. So let's just pretend that I cut that out. And then I take a rubber stamp. So we have rubber stamps made and if you're interested in knowing what company that we use just let me know and I will tell you what company makes our custom dies. So this is the rubber stamp and so you have to tell them when you have your rubber stamp made to make it a reverse of a regular rubber stamp because you're going to be reversing this twice. So I get my rubber stamp made. I usually use rubber cement and put it on the back of that and then glue it down to a piece of Formica. Formica is a great uh, tool to have to cast off of. So this gets glued down to the Formica with rubber cement 
I take my hollow container and it will create where I cast around. So this gets stuck down, this gets put down on over top of over top of the stamp and then I'll take a piece of clay and go all the way around the edge right here of the container otherwise it's going to leak so you want the the clay that goes all around there to create a seal so I usually use ceramic cow which can be by, bought at high water clay you also can use casting plaster I tried that once the 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 casting plaster isn't as durable as the Ceramical, so I've gone back to using only Ceramical, but either will, will work. So you cast that and use the directions that's either on the Ceramical bag or the casting plaster as far as how much plaster and how much water you, you um, make and mix. And pour that in there and then usually I let that set overnight. And so that is how we get these little dies that we make. So that is how you make your die. And then Amanda already showed you how we press into our dies. Another thing that you can do is if you don't want to go to the extent we do, you can just have a regular rubber stamp made and press it directly into a slab of clay. The difference between what we're doing and what I just mentioned is this. We like to have all the design raised and you can see how it's raised on there so that's why I cast it and then we press it if we just stamped a stamp down into the clay that everything that's raised here would be impressed in and we do that for some folks but I the extra step to create the raised I think actually looks quite nice the other thing you might notice about these are that we have a brown clay body mug and a white clay body medallion so when we glaze these the glaze looks different on the mug as compared to the medallion and it's slight but it makes the medallion be the focal point of the piece so that is a reason why we do that there is a little bit different shrinkage rate between the white clay and the brown clay the white clay actually shrinks a little bit more than the brown clay does. So when we put the white clay over the um, curves that I actually made, we will try to get the medallion a little bit stiffer if possible than the, than the mug. And that way we get a better fit. And we'll use either color or slip. Sometimes we use white slip underneath and sometimes we use brown. It doesn't seem to make that much of a difference. It, we are actually moving away from doing medallion mugs and doing more um, stamped mugs. This is a very time consuming process. If you ever end up with a medallion mug, it's definitely something worth valuing because there's a lot of time put in a mug like this. And uh, whether it's ours or somebody else's, just know that it's a, a process that takes quite a bit of steps and quite a bit of time and it's worth whatever money that you pay for it. So that is it for today. Um, we're gonna call this our throwing Thursday, even though I didn't throw uh, because we had a request for this and I wanted to make sure that we honored our commitment because we did say that we were gonna show how to do this this week. So there you go. And if you have any questions, just let us know. We'll be happy to answer them for you. And we will show you a picture of a couple of our medallion mugs at the end of the video. So thanks for jo joining us for Throwing Thursday, and we will see you next week. Bye.